I cannot believe that it's been 50 years since Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory came out. And I'm the only one in this group without a golden ticket. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's your blonde hair. Right? No, <laughs> seriously, though. Did you guys get to keep your tickets? Are they framed somewhere? Do we know what happened to them? Uh, no, I'll start. No, I'm, I did not. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have it anymore. Um, I sold it a few years ago. I don't have it anymore. I do still have a scrum diddly umptious bar. I'm hanging on to that. But I love it. Well, anniversaries are so fun. They're such fun markers because, you know, we're able to reunite the cast and you all went different directions, but it's fun to have this, you know, special bond. And on this version of the um, movie that's coming out, we have commentary where we get to hear from you guys and we get to hear about your experiences. So tell us a little bit about what we can expect there. Warner Brothers was kind enough to bring me over to the uh, uh, to the studio um, in Burbank. I was able to see what they've done with it in terms of the resolution and in terms of the color and the sound. Uh, basically, their goal was to make it as close to what you would see if you were in 1971 and was there looking at the actual set and us at the time. Uh, so it's much sharper. Uh, the colors are truer and it looks amazing uh, as you watch it. You know. I'm afraid I'm going to take too much time, but the thing that struck me is because the resolution is sharper and the colors are truer, it created almost a 3D effect where you felt like you were looking at a 3D movie instead of a 2D movie. Um, so it's very impressive. And uh, I think that you'll enjoy it if you get a chance to see it. Besides, you know, the colors and <clears throat> the, the fun of being in this chocolate factory, um, also the integrity piece, you know, all the all of you were tempted with that everlasting gobstopper. And so I feel like, you know, the themes still resonate today. Um, Peter, maybe talk to me about that since since we know Charlie was the one that, you know, we, we hope our kids follow. What <laughs> exactly. And, and I mean, there's still there's some great messages in in this film you know that's kind of the uh, parenting guide of how to raise your kids what to do and what not to do so it kind of lays it all out there in an hour and a half <laughs> so um i think all of us have have used the different examples of the children who fell you know into harm's way at the chocolate factory um when we uh, raised our own children so <laughs> I know I all aboard, everybody. Uh, ladies first, and that means Maruka. If she's a lady, I'm a vermicious knit. She's such a bratty individual, but that's the way she's been raised. You know, she's allowed, she's allowed to be that. <laughs> when you I when, it. when you watch I'm shocked. The Right. When you watch the film back, do you have the same um, feeling? Does it immediately take you back to that time when you watch it? Um, or do you have, has it evolved as you continue to watch the film and you see different aspects to it? I do. But also for all of us, as we watch the movie, we, we are seeing also the things that went before. So it takes me back to, um, you know, what was going on before the shot, what was going on after the shot. Um, so it, it's it's that nostalgia for me of, of uh, remembering the little. So to me, it's like watching a home movie. You know, this is what happened before, and this is what happened afterwards. So, yeah. so it's yeah, it is uh, it is right. And bratty. There was nothing wrong with Veruca. It was just poor parenting. <laughs> I agree. Speaking of kind of you know seeing your hometown, you know, Michael. I think a lot of people would be would you know kind of be shocked to realize that it was actually shot in Berlin ah. because they didn't want or it was shot in. Ah in Munich, in Germany, because they didn't want it to feel like it was somewhere in America. Um, you being from Germany, what was that like? And what does that continue to be like when fans find out that nugget? Yes, I live in Germany since the film was done, since my birth uh, um, date and uh, still living here. And of course, I'm always enjoying to take a trip to the US and uh, do some conventions. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination.